everyone and welcome back to our better minecraft world we have a nice little setup in this autumn biome here we've got an iron factory set up over there we have an enchanting setup and of course all of our crops and our cute little house but i want to start making use of some of the more op mods in this pack there's a mod in this pack called waystones which makes transportation way more convenient so i want to get on that today so we can make i think we already have all the things for this we need an Abyss Watcher, which is made of an Ender Pill and two Flint. And then we just need an Emerald Obsidian and some kind of other block. So we'll definitely need more Ender Pills at some point, but we can make two of these for now. And funny enough, the thing we're missing is a single Flint. Let's see if we can get some of that. Oh, there we go. First try. Okay, so we want one Waystone for our home and one to put somewhere else. That is why we'll make two of these. And should we start by making a stone brick one, just for fun? Stone brick, waystone. Oh wait, do we have to like, activate it? Oh, it's working and it looks so cool. Okay, we don't want it there though. And just for fun, we'll make our second one out of a different material, sandstone. Now we need a spot to put our home one. I'm thinking somewhere over here. The only thing we have over this side of the river is our nether portal over there. So maybe it's like a kind of transportation themed area or something. Oh, oops, no. Oh my gosh, why did I think that was an oak log? That was not an oak log. Are they following me? Yes. I don't want to die from bees, but I also don't want to kill the bees. Maybe we can see what they're doing from up here. Oh, I see them. They're near the door. Well, that was a fail. I'm just going to wait for them to calm down. I don't see any angry bees. Oh, hello. Well, that one seemed fine. There's one over there that I think is okay too. They're homeless now though. I feel so bad for them. I'm sorry, bee. That was not my smartest moment. Anyway, let's get back to clearing out some land so we can build an area for our waste stone. So now coming over here, we've got a nice blank area for a build for our waste stone. I do want to plant some trees though, so I brought some bone meal over. Because I want the ground to look a lot less like this and a lot more like this. And the colourful bits grow with the maple trees. Oh, I love this one. I didn't really know it could do that. Some bits have red in them and others are just orange. That's really cool. We'll also grow some yellow. And some red. And for the red ones, I want to collect... Oh, we're going to need more bone meal. That's okay. I want to collect the red leaves though for our build. And after sleeping, it appears to be winter. It's very pretty, but it's not really the vibes of what we're building, but that's okay. Also, it looks like our little path here is going to survive winter. I don't know why. I thought these lily pads had come off, but it looks like the ice is just going under them. So that's nice, nice ice. But okay, I think for this build, I want to do a giant maple tree, or at least a big maple tree. Big enough to put the waste stone inside it. We're going to go for these red maple leaves. And let's just have a see at what we can do. We'll start by placing the waste stone maybe right there. And then we need to kind of build around it. The bottom of the tree can be pretty chunky if we like. Is that too chunky? I honestly have no idea. Maybe that's kind of a lot. I don't know. We are very much winging this. We'll do a temporary block here so we can start building it inwards like so. And over here. This seems good. This is correct for the stumpy part, I think. And we'll also have this made out of probably coarse dirt and maybe something to texture it with. From here, I'm going to keep going and build up the trunk and a couple of branches. And we have something kind of dead tree shaped. We just need to add the leaves. There is a feature though that was super helpful for this. Let me see if I can emulate it. So if we're building out branches like this and we want to go down one, it actually lets us go like that. So with some branches going up and others going down, that made it a lot easier. I would love to have that feature in vanilla. But I'm going to start adding the red leaves and turn this into a big maple tree. It 
it absolutely looks like I've stuffed llamas into the tree. I promise I didn't. But we have finished the tree. I think it's looking cool. It's a little more transparent than I would have liked with these leaves. I promise I did layer them up. I can go into free cam to show you. So they're very layered up and thick. But I think it's just how these modded leaves work. Because it's like it with these trees too. They're very transparent. Of course though, we're still missing the details. I have these little mushrooms to put on it. I think these are so cute. They're from our nether trip in the previous episode. We also have from the nether this red wall moss. I don't know what it looks like, so let's try it. Ooh. Um, well, it's the right tone of red. It could be cool to have a couple more of these. And around the back. Then we also have some of these rose bushes to place around the sides. And I think these, yeah, they randomize the color, which is really cool. We'll place some along the path as well. We ran out of cool stuff, but we'll deal with that later. We've got tons of poppies from our iron farm though. And then we have chains with two different types of lanterns. So we can take this torch out and try to hang one. Okay, that is too close to the waste stone. Oh, I like that one. That one's really cute. Maybe we also add some candles and more lamps along the path. Then we can try hang some of the chains in the tree. I'm assuming that we can't... Oh, we can stick them to the leaves. Okay, that's really cool. I want to add some more of them. We are all done with our big maple waystone tree. We've got all the cute little details leading up to it and the little mushrooms and I added some inside as well. And of course with all the lanterns around giving it a bit more of a glow at night. I have activated our waystone. It's called Nijazogu. Can we edit that name? We don't actually have a name for our area, but I think it'll have to be Maple something. Okay, we're gonna give it a silly little name. Maple Tree Way is cute, but it's also the track of Mario Kart, if any of you know that. And now with our home waypoint sorted, we can go on a longer adventure and hopefully get home really easily. And I also wanna put our second waystone somewhere far away. So we can have an area for different resources, or maybe we could even build a village or something there. One day. I might put it in my backpack. And aside from that, I quite like a boat in case it becomes not icy. Where are our boats? I swear we had some here. Do they end up under the ice? Okay, we'll just make a new one. And looking at our map, maybe we'll go this way. Hopefully we'll find something cool, but let's get going. Oh! And we've barely left home, but who are you? Hello? It says he's a mauler from Friends and Foes mod. What do you maul? Would you like some meat? Or if I click you? No? <gasps> Wait, can I leash you? <gasps> I can. Okay, you can stay here and I might come back for you. But we need to continue. On our journey, I found an altar with another gold sword in it. That is the third one. Then I found some cucumber seeds, which we don't have yet. And then I came across this tower. Okay, I don't know what this is. It's in a swamp, which makes me automatically scared of witches, but let's go see. Oh, hello, butterfly. I don't hear any mob noises. Oh, there's some loot. An enchanted wooden hoe. No, thank you. And we already have beetroot. Oh, emeralds. I don't think there's any bad guys in here either. Oh, we've got some cute little shelves. Got skeleton skulls. Oh, more loot. Beetroot seeds. It's not the best loot, but it's a very mobless area, so I guess that's what you get. And what's in here? More emeralds. We have a nice little bed too. This place is cute. And then I'm assuming this comes out on the roof. Oh, what? It has a waystone. This is the first time I've seen... Oh, a name tag. Do we want an unbreaking bow? I think we do. We'll be able to combine it with our own bow. Okay, well... Lako Zihu. That is so handy. We could literally just go home from here if we want. It does cost a level though, so I'm actually gonna just keep adventuring. And we seem to be at some sort of place. It might be a safe house, which we've seen once before. Oh, hello, Cheryl. Or Cheryl. This is all very cute. They've got all their little food storage areas outside. And let's see what's going on inside. Wilhelmina the Butcher. I don't know why, but that's funny to me. And then there's upstairs. Where we have... Oh, a chest. Ruined town map and ancient city map. Oh, 
We've been in one of these chests before and they had lots of good maps, but that one was different. I don't want to go to an ancient city right now though, but maybe we could see what the ruined town is. Is it going to be close by? We have to go west and south. Oh, you can see the map is already becoming a little bit visible. There's something up here. It's like a wagon. Oh, and moo blooms. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have plans for you. Another time though. Oh my gosh, and there's a different moo bloom over here too. Were they both sunflower ones? I'm not really sure, but I want to collect different types of moo blooms another day, so we'll leave that for now. This must be, is this the outskirts of the own village? Oh, I see it. It's up here. This is a little bit like, we have kind of some ruins near our house. They have a windmill here though, that is so cute. I don't know if there's anything good here, sadly, or if it's mostly just ruins. There's also this thing right near it. I don't think this is a pillager outpost, but I don't know what it actually is. Is there anybody here? No. How about in here? Uh, not really. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a bust. That's okay, but enough tangents. I think now is the time to set up our waystone. I'm just gonna focus on finding a spot. Okay, I found this beautiful biome where it's not snowing, at least for now. And I think I would love to have a little waystone and a little area set up here. I think this part where I'm right now is kind of an island, which is cool. We'll also check out this little section of mainland. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, I love this lantern. Oh my gosh. And I believe you guys told me that this means that there's some kind of village in this direction. I also just found a regular village off camera, so I'll show you guys that in a second. They had their own waystone, so we ended up getting that. Um, where's ours? It's in our backpack. And let's have it right over here. I wish this biome was a little bit bigger, but it's so pretty. We had to set up here. And in this mod, this biome's called Sakura something. I can't remember. But because it's an island, we'll call it Sakura Island. Now we just need to decorate this. And I was thinking of doing a little version of what we have back home. Except cherry blossom theme. So basically we can put it inside a little cherry blossom tree. Using the logs and the leaves from this biome. So at this point we have the random waste stone we found, we have the village I found off camera, we have our home and this. Let's try using this for the first time. I want to go home and dump some of our stuff. Oh, okay that was really easy and it just cost one level. Oh we could combine our two bows since we got the unbreaking one. So we'll have power two, unbreaking two. Now let's head back and build this cherry blossom tree. The supply we need for this build is of course these trees, so hopefully they drop a lot of saplings. Wait, did that drop any at all? Oh no, the saplings are really rare. This is not good because we'll need to replant them. Two that time, okay, two from two trees. It's not the best rate, we'll go over here and get some more. And then we'll plant and grow a bunch. we have our cherry blossom tree. I tried to make it a little bit different in shape from the other one so it is a little less leafy. I was sort of inspired by how these trees have two main different sections so you can kind of see two distinct sections to the tree. And for this one I used these purple lanterns, they're called ender lanterns. But lucky for us they don't actually require going to the end. And then of course some pretty flowers and some of these petals and we've got our waste stone in the middle of the tree. Nice and cozy. I love how it kind of matches our home one though, like two portals that are kind of connected through the builds. But now that we have some fast travel options set up, I think it is time to head home. And that will be all for today, so leave a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!